Hi, my name is Chris Derdarian. I'm one of the pediatric and fetal surgeons here at Colorado Fetal Care Center at Children's Hospital Colorado. Today I'm here to talk to you about recent advancements in the treatment of myelomeningocele, or MMCs, specifically fetoscopic advancements. Myelomeningocele are a form of spina bifida that can have significant impact on both the patients and their families. MMCs are associated with hydrocephalus, impaired motor function, and both bladder and fecal dysfunction. Children with MMCs often need ventricular peritoneal shunts to relieve their hydrocephalus, they may be wheelchair bound, and they often have problems with bowel and bladder function. When we counsel these families prenatally, grasping these long-term morbidities can be quite challenging for them. Fortunately, cognitive disabilities are quite limited in children affected by MMCs. In 2011, the Management of Myelomeningocele Study Group, or MOMS trial, was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. In this multi-center randomized control trial, in which they compared prenatal repair to the standard postnatal repair, the authors found that prenatal repair resulted in a 50% reduction of the need for a ventricular peritoneal shunt, as well as an increased likelihood of improved motor function. Over the past decade, minor advancements have been made to improve outcomes associated with prenatal repair, as well as decrease maternal risk associated with this procedure. Currently, if a fetus meets criteria for fetal surgery, it's usually performed in the second trimester of pregnancy. When we perform these operations, we make a fan and steel-like incision on the mom's skin, separate the muscles to expose the uterus. We then use specific uterine staplers with absorbable staples to open the uterus, making about a 10 centimeter incision. The back of the fetus is then brought out of the uterus to expose the MMC. We then bring in a microscope into the operative field and with the help of our neurosurgery colleagues, we close the spinal cord defect and reinforce it with a myofascial flap. While these procedures are generally safe, they come with two significant risks. First, these fetuses are often far more premature than those that undergo a postnatal repair in that they deliver around 34 weeks compared to the postnatal repair group that usually goes to term. In addition, moms are committed to cesarean sections for future pregnancies, as there is concern for subsequent pregnancies of open fetal surgeries being complicated by uterine rupture. Nevertheless, this procedure is considered safe with an overall improvement in outcomes compared to postnatal repair. In recent years, groups both within and outside of the United States have begun to explore the possibility of performing these procedures fetoscopically. In most instances, a similar fan and steel-like incision is made on the mother to expose the uterus, and ports are then placed in very specific locations to introduce a camera and instruments into the uterus in order to perform the procedure. The goal of this procedure is then to close the spinal cord defect in the same manner as if we were to perform it via an open uterine incision. And the primary advantage of performing these fetoscopically is that the baby at hand and future pregnancies can be delivered vaginally. There's also a theoretical benefit that pregnancies are extended longer in those that undergo a fetoscopic repair compared to open fetal surgery, but that data is very limited. Outcomes for this approach in general are limited. We know that this approach is safe and in some reports has a lower risk of preterm delivery. We don't know long-term outcomes for patients yet, and that's what's really being looked at still. As a fetal care center that is focused on being innovative, but more importantly, provide the best outcomes and help families make the right decisions for them, we spend an enormous amount of time discussing options for families to weigh the risks and the benefits of each procedure. Our goal at Children's Hospital Colorado Fetal Care Center is not to make decisions for families, but rather provide them with sufficient data to make the right decision for their individual family. If you have any questions or would like any more information, please feel free to contact us or visit our website. Thank you very much.